Hi YouTube, this is a uh, quick uh, kind of tutorial or walkthrough on installing Mojave, uh, the latest edition of Mac OS uh, that's currently in beta um, onto a unsupported device. Um, the computer that you see here is a mid-2009 uh, MacBook. It is... Um, one of the unsupported uh, white body MacBooks. Um, so to install Mojave um, in its beta form on an unsupported device, you would go to um, DOS Dude One's um, website. He's the um, person that's that's put out the patchers for I believe the last four versions of Mac OS um, as far as loading them on unsupported devices uh, the URL is dosdude1.com slash mojave and so you'll just go to that you'll download it and then you will open it up and you'll you'll get this window um, it's going to appear slightly different when you first open it up just because I'm currently already in the process. Um, but once you open it up, you would go to tools, download Mac, o Mac OS Mojave, um, and that will then download the latest version of the public beta. Um, and once it, once Mojave goes official, um, it'll then download the latest version that you'd be able to download from the App Store on a supported Mac. Uh, then once it's been downloaded, you'll select your target disk, um, which would be, you know, a USB drive. Um, I have a 16 gig SanDisk um, USB drive that I'm, I'm using as my bootable installed drive. It'll install the OS. Um, and then it will install the um, patching files that it needs to be able to run the OS on your unsupported device. Um, so once that runs through, you will then boot from your, your installer or from your uh, installer USB and essentially go through the normal um, Mac OS install process, whether it's gonna be a clean install or which is recommended or a upgrade install, which you, there, you, know, you, you may encounter more bugs doing it that way. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna let this finish on this machine and then rejoin a little bit later on to kind of give you an update on how things are going. So I'm back with a small update. Um, so the um, installer drive finished building um, and I now booted into the installer and it is in the process of installing Mac OS Mojave. Uh, one thing to note on um, this particular MacBook, the mid-2009, um, I believe it's anything mid-2009 and older, if I remember correctly. Um, the um, trackpad um, loses some of its functionality. Um, so it's just, you know, one thing to note, you lose some of your scrolling gestures and stuff like that. Um, and then the other thing, which I'm not sure if you can hear, um, the fans are running it what I'm assuming is full speed and it, it somewhat sounds like a, a jet. Um, but of course that's, you know, somewhat to be expected as you're installing a operating system on an unsupported machine. Um, so as you can see from the screen, there's about 10 minutes remaining. I'm going to cut the video and, um, resume it a little bit later to kind of show you how things turned out. 
So, uh, final update, um, Mojave did install, the patches went through, um, you can actually go here to the patch updater and view installed updates and it'll show you which patches, um, had to be installed. Um, there is a, a partial trackpad patch that was installed. <clears throat> and that actually added back some of the uh, usability, uh, or pretty, it added back pretty much all the usability of the trackpad. Um, you just don't have, you're not able to access those trackpad settings um, in settings. Um, if you go to trackpad, it says that there's no trackpad found. Um, but if you go to mouse, you get some of the, uh, you know, some of the settings. Um, you just, you just lose some of the um, trackpad gestures, essentially. Um, but you still have your two finger scrolling, um, the trackpad, you know, as far as just moving around seems to perf perform or behave the same. Um, the one noticeable bug that I have found so far, aside from a few, um, kind of, you know, graphic issues here and there, um, sometimes the, some of the dock, um, icons will just disappear and you'll have just a, um, just like a gray box, um, and, you know, sometimes some of the, the title bar stuff will become a, a little um, miscolored, I, I guess I'll say. But it's somewhat to be expected. Um, it's, a, it's a beta, um, and it's, you know, on an unsupported machine. Um, so issues are, you know, to be expected. Um, the only other real issue that I've found so far um, is the camera. Um, the ISA camera not being detected, um, although I've heard uh, or what I've from what I've seen online, um, that seems to be actually an issue with even supported machines, um, just with this version of the the beta. Um, so I'm kind of you know holding out hope that that that'll be fixed in a, a future beta, um, you know, and and by the time that Mojave goes official. Uh, you know, that'll be corrected and, you know, we'll be able to use the, the iSight camera on the MacBook. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to pull up the About This Mac so you can kind of see that it is, you know, really Mojave. Um, and it's running on a mid-2009 13-inch MacBook. Um, it's been pretty smooth. Um, prior to Mojave, I had um, this on its uh, intended maximum op operating system, which was El Capitan. Um, and I have to say that, you know, the, um, the boot up's a little bit slower. Um, once again, it is a beta, um, but the boot up's a little bit slower. But as far as the actual um, performance as far as, you know, uh, programs opening and stuff like that, it, it seems to be about the same as what it was, um, on El Capitan, which is, is definitely great to see. Um, the battery's draining a little bit quicker, um, but I've also been kind of, uh, I was on partial battery, for part of the install and the patching and there's you know multiple reboots involved in that uh which might have um kind of you know drained the battery a little bit quicker so kind of you know wait and see to see you know if there's any additional battery drain uh but everything so far is uh is looking good um so like i said in the beginning of the video um dos dude one dot com mojave download the uh patcher uh from there you can download the beta patch it install it on your mac um if you 
enjoy this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And um, it would be great if you'd, you'd subscribe to the channel as well.